Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to get started on our reading lesson. And now, our reading lesson that comes from our journey book, if you have it, you can follow along. It's called A Boat Disappears. It's a fiction story. It's actually a mystery you have to solve, so that's going to be fun. But our story has some insects in it, so I thought it would be fun to share some insects with you first. Our main character is Inspector Hopper, who is a detective. He helps solve mysteries. So there's going to be a mystery to solve in this story. But here's a grasshopper. A grasshopper is an insect because he has six legs, three on each side. These are the bendy kind. He has this little antennas. He has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, right? So Inspector Hopper is our grasshopper character. Then we have McBug. He's going to be our um, cat and eye caterpillar. What is he? He's a ladybug. So a ladybug is in this story. And then there's a caterpillar. And I actually have our real caterpillars here today. And they are about five days old. And look how big and juicy they've gotten so far. If you've been keeping up with us. Very cool, huh? Oh, he's moving his head. Do you see him? moving a little bit. All right, so we're going to get started, and at the end of the story, we're going to talk about cause and effect. We've talked about that and seen a really funny video um, in our classroom, but here's kind of an overview of what cause and effect is, in case you forgot. Uh, the cause is just why something happened, okay? And then the um, effect is what happened. So I have some examples here to help you out. Okay, let's pretend that the sun came out, okay? It's a warm day. And because the sun came out, it caused something to happen. It caused my snowman melted. Hmm. So because the sun came out, it melted my snowman. So that's why it happened and what happened. Same with this one. It says it's raining outside. So because it was raining outside, I needed my umbrella. They kind of go together like a little puzzle. Um, what happened and why did it happen? Um, it was raining, so I needed my umbrella. You see how that goes together? Cause and effect. Why it happened and what happened. Um, let's see, I woke up late, so I missed the school bus or I missed the bus. Yeah, cause and effect. So in our story, I might ask you to remember some of the details and I'm going to ask you what happened and why it happened. Cause and effect. Okay? So let's get started. Like I said, it's a mystery. Oh, I like mysteries. All right. A boat disappears. And there's Inspector Hopper and Mr. McBug over there. It says, solving a mystery can be very tricky. You may look behind and beneath things for clues. You are almost sure to solve it if you go to a helpful detective like this one in the story. So a detective helps you solve a mystery. All right, a boat disappears. Skeet walked into the office of Inspector Hopper. My boat disappeared, he said. That is a mystery, said Inspector Hopper. Tell us what happened. So that is the mystery. Skeet right here, who is a mosquito, um, lost his boat. So these two detectives are gonna help him find his boat. All right, so that's the mystery, a missing boat. I sailed my boat this morning, said Ski, and then I went to lunch, and when I came back for lunch, my boat was gone. Hmm. What did your boat look like? asked Inspector Hopper. Here is a picture, said Ski. It looks like a leaf, said McBug. It is a leaf, said Ski, but it is a good boat. So his boat is actually a leaf because a leaf makes a very good boat for a mosquito. But it's still missing. Hmm, I wonder what happened to it. We will take your case, said Inspector Hopper. Show us where your boat was the last time you saw it. That's a good place to start, right? You have to look at like, where you saw the boat last. Well, they all went to the lake here is where my boat was, said Ski. It was on the river there, on the lake. Hmm, so many things could have happened to it, huh? Hmm, said Inspector Hopper. I don't see any footprints, but wait, 
What is this? It looks like pieces of my boat, said Ski. Here is another piece, said Inspector Hopper. Let's follow the trail. So if you look carefully, you can see the little uh, pieces of the leaf. Those are called clues, right? You have to follow the clues. They followed the trail of the boat pieces and the trail went past the water spout. Hello, Incy Weensy. <gasps> hmm, do you know something about Incy Weensy? Yeah, and a water spout. Yeah, you might know the nursery rhyme. The Incy Weensy spider, yep. So that's the guy. Hello, Incy Weensy, said Inspector Hopper. We are looking for a missing boat. What does your boat look like? Said, asked Incy Weensy. Here's a picture, said Ski. It looks like a leaf, said Incy Weensy. It is a leaf, said Ski, but it is a good boat. So everybody keeps telling Ski that it looks like a, um, a leaf, because it is a leaf, but it's still his very good boat that he's really missing. I have not seen your boat, said Incy Weensy. I'm trying to get back up the water spout. The rain washed, it, washed me out. Thank you anyway, said Inspector Hopper. Hmm, so this is that water spout, like in the song. A water spout is at the side of your house, so when the rain comes, it can go down through the water spout and kind of out on the grass. Yeah, so he didn't see the boat. Inspector Hopper, McBug, and Skeet all followed the trail. Hello, Sally, said Inspector Hopper. We are looking for a missing boat. Here's a picture of it. It looks like a leaf, said Sally. It is a leaf, said Skeet, but it is a good boat. So McSally, she's a snail, right? Yep, she said it looks like a leaf too, because it is. I have not seen it, said Sally. I've been jogging all morning. I've already jogged three feet. Oh, thank you anyway, said Inspector Hopper. Inspector Hopper, McBug, Skeet, um, they all followed the trail. So Sally didn't see it. Hello, Conrad. Here's Conrad. What do you think he is? Yeah, he's a caterpillar, like our caterpillar. Hello, Conrad, said Inspector Hopper. We are looking for a missing boat. Here's a picture of it. Oh, I have seen it, said Conrad. Hooray, said Skeet. Where is it? Dun, 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 dun. I think Conrad has seen it. Let's see what he says. Um, I ate it said Conrad. What? said Ski. You ate my boat? Yes, said Conrad. It looked like a leaf. Oh, so I ate it. I didn't know it was your boat. What will I do now? asked Ski. So wait a minute, what happened to his boat? Conrad ate it because it did look like a leaf. And he and caterpillars eat leaves. Good. Oh, now my kitty cat's trying to get over here. Inspector Hopper looked around. There are many leaves here, he said. Perhaps Conrad can help me pick out a new boat. It would make me happy, to, and I would be happy to help, said Conrad. Thank you, said Ski. Maybe you can pick out a boat that isn't so yummy. That's a good idea, said Conrad. Oh, there we go. So this time we have to pick a leaf for a boat that's not so yummy tasting. Another mystery solved, said Inspector Hopper. I wonder what a boat tastes like anyway, asked McBug. Let's go home, said Inspector Hopper. So cute. So that was a happy ending because Conrad's going to help him find a new boat. Okay, so in the story, there were some things that happened and we had to figure out what happened and why they happened. All right, here's the first one. Ah, all right. The first one says, Conrad was hungry. So let's think about this. So because Conrad was hungry, what happened? What did he do? Yeah, he ate the boat. He didn't know it was his um, friend's boat. So that's cause and effect. Because he was hungry, he ate the boat, the leaf. He ate the leaf. What happened and why it happened. All right, so this one says, Incy Wincy was washed out of the water spout. Remember that water spout? Yeah, he was washed out. Why? 
What do you think caused that to happen? Yeah, he said it rained last night. It rained, so Incy Wincy was washed out of his bath because cause and effect. Why it happened and what happened. All right, ready? Sally, the little snail, she was jogging all morning. Remember? So what happened? Hmm, that's a little trickier. So because Sally was jogging, she didn't see what happened to the boat. She was busy, right? She didn't see the boat. She was too busy. They kind of go together. <clears throat> All right, so when you're reading, boys and girls, there are some <clears throat> clue words that can help you remember cause and effect. Here are my clue words. If you see the word so or because, then you can kind of um, understand that you're probably going to have a cause and effect. Let's try it. The sun came out, so my snowman melted. Yeah. It was raining, so I needed my umbrella. Or because it was raining, I needed my umbrella. Let's see. I woke up late, so I missed the bus. Um, I missed the bus because I woke up late. Do you see how they go together? All right, so when you're reading, try to think of cause and effect. What happened to the story and why it happened. All right, I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Take care and keep learning.